it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Okay, today I'm gonna give you an overview of this Cricut HTB hack. So this is, I've cut one already. This is um, The Beast from, from Beauty and the Beast. And so um, it's a super intricate pattern, right, design, but it's all in one piece. So this hack works for something like this. So what you do is, in design space, you pick your design, you size it, you go to make it. When you click on make it, you I would still do mirror uh, just because you're used to doing you know mirror for HTV, right? Um, in this case, for this design, it doesn't matter because um, when you look down the middle, it, it's identical, right? Um, so mirror, instead of selecting HTV, I select glitter cardstock. So I have a maker on glitter cardstock for me. It cuts through the carrier sheet. And the reason why I want that is because I can lift this whole piece up, the whole design up in one piece. And so anything that you see in brown right now against this, you know, because it's on the Teflon sheet, anything that you see in brown, you would have normally weeded this by hand with your little pick and it you know could take quite some time the owl that i did earlier this week um we know steph craft rain uh she did it took her an hour and 50 minutes so with that being said this is a great hack for that right because i did the owl i lifted it off the mat um and it was like three minutes to lift it off the mat because i was being super careful <laughs> uh like two minutes to peel to kind of like poke through any pieces that were still hanging on like you've done this if you've done this with cardstock you know that sometimes there are some pieces that just hang on for dear life you just need to poke it out that's it it's still way faster right because i like i said i think i did it in under five minutes um way faster than weeding it okay so i accidentally took this off and realized i wasn't recording so sorry i'm gonna put this back down so you can kind of see what i'm talking about this is what it looked like right and i just peeled this off so this is htv shiny side down so you still everything is the same the only difference is the setting that you choose so instead of an htv option like foil htv glitter htv um, regular HTV, I chose glitter cardstock because I wanted it to cut through my carrier sheet. So I lifted this up. You want to make sure that your mat is sticky for this because it's such an intricate design. You want your material to lay flat on the mat. I also highly recommend using a brayer to really make sure that all your air bubbles are out. Um, every square inch of this piece is stuck on the mat so that you get a really clean cut. All right, I'm gonna flip this over because I wanna start pulling from over here. I just feel like it has more uh, for me to hold on to. All right, so, okay. I'm going to pop this up a little bit with my little spatula tool. I'm gonna bend it a little bit to see if I can get under there. And, uh, ah! I think this part is like the hardest part at the beginning to get underneath there. Okay, got under, perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna start pulling this up. And, everything that's left on the mat is what we would have weeded, right? So you can kind of see this is starting to come up. It's gonna be so, look at that, so beautiful. Now, I did mention that the carrier sheet remains on the piece that we're pulling up, right? Because I cut through everything, so it's HTV on this side, right? That's the side that's gonna go down on your sweatshirt. You still have the carrier sheet on this piece, so you can see. You can see because it has more of a, a sheen to it, right? Because it's that plastic carrier sheet. And then here's the, the side with like the glue, okay. Now, um, I don't want to yank this up because it is a very intricate de uh, design. So, oh no, did something pop out? Oh no, okay. Okay. 
And there you have, I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful color. But you can see some parts here, it's kind of, you know, it's, there are gonna be pieces that hang on. So what I was saying earlier is you just wanna kind of pop them out or just poke it out. So like with, um, take my little knife and just kind of poke through. Now I did this cut kind of small. Um, my owl is way bigger, like to fit on the back of the hoodie. So the bigger it is for these pieces, obviously it's gonna be easier, easier for your machine to cut through like really delicate parts and stuff. So, all right, I'm gonna move this to the side now that you know what that looks like. I really wanna try to do something with this, what's left, um, but I did get a lot of questions on how to clean this mat. Just like if this was a cardstock project, I would just take this and scrape it off. I don't wanna scrape it off because I wanna see if I can do something with this. So I'm gonna put this aside and we are going to press this. So I hope right now that you guys are still following along. The other project that I think you can do this on, so the first the first project that, you, that this hack would work for is this, right? Like an intricate, mandala that you can pick up in one piece because everything's attached then this will work um if things are not attached you're just going to have a bazillion pieces that you would need to manually place onto your blank so you don't want to do that but the other example that i have is like if you like these pieces are big enough that i feel like i can manually place down so if you don't want to press multiple times, like if you had a delicate blank, like a backpack or a nylon jacket or something like that, where you don't want to burn it, um, you could, if your design was easy enough, you could cut through so that these individual pieces would be like cardstock pieces. You would place it onto, you know, this pencil bag and you would press once or twice as opposed to pressing each color, right? That's another example. So, okay, let's work on this one. I've got my heat press going. Let me double check the settings for this. Um, this is Poly, the Turbo brand, the Turbo line. So it's 265, or no, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'll do 265 for five seconds. So I'm going to bring this up. It's already been heating, so I'm just gonna change the settings. Okay, so it's on. Um, I'm gonna press down on the temperature until it blinks. Okay, there. Ah, that's not what I want. Oh my gosh. Change back, it changed to Celsius. Okay, there we go. Um, Uh, I was thinking of my my regular heat press. I gotta wait for it to blink. Um, okay, so I'm gonna hit the temperature and go down to 265. I want the time to be five seconds. Oops, oh my gosh. Okay, um, and I'm good. Okay, we're gonna wait for that to settle. Um, that's it. So let's get, let's get the sweatshirt ready and we're gonna press this little guy. So I love this hack. I mean, I've done, I don't know, I've cut quite a few by now. Um, I had done zero up until now because I don't like to weed. So let me, <laughs> let me grab this little guy. I'm gonna just pre-press this really quickly. My daughter is, my daughter did um, theater camp this past summer and she did Beauty and the Beast and she absolutely loved it. So I think she will like this on a hoodie, on the back of her hoodie. I'm gonna just put this down real quick just to get it going. Okay, I'm gonna do a different mat because this one's so small. Let me grab a bigger one. So you can see everything. <clears throat> so I'm using this to, to center everything. That's my middle. Okay. 
And so you can see this is more matte, right? And then this is shiny. So this is the carrier sheet on here. So I'm gonna put it on like this. Okay. And I can press just on here like this now because it has the carrier sheet on here. So I'm gonna do that. All right, I think we're ready. And I think this is, yeah, it's a luke, it's a warm, lukewarm peel. So I'm gonna peel it off as soon as it cools down a little bit. And then I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet on top and I'm gonna press one more time. And the reason is because um, I feel like when I'm pulling off the carrier sheet, that I'm sort of pulling, kind of yanking it, not yanking it, but you know, I'm, I'm causing a little bit of pull so I wanna make sure to press it one more time. So here's my carrier sheet. I don't know if you can, oh yeah, you can start to see it. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up. I'm peeling it off. And my design is staying on the sweatshirt. So you can see that. Such a cool, beautiful design. I am going all Beauty and the Beast out next week because that's going to be the theme for um, the expo. So I'm super excited about the Impressions Expo in Long Beach. And you'll want to um, catch us live on Instagram because we are giving away lots of prizes. So it's gonna be on Saturday, January 22nd. And so, sorry, before I continue with that, I'm carefully saving this and pulling it off because I don't wanna rip this carrier sheet because I wanna use it as a stencil. So I that's why I'm carefully ripping it off because technically you don't, I mean, this doesn't need to be in one piece when you pull it off. Um, but I want to try to use it for another purpose because it's a really cool stencil and it's all cut out and perfect. Um, okay, so sorry, going back to the expo, January 22nd, that's a Saturday. Um, we're going, I'll be going live a few times, but the one where I'm actually giving away prizes will be at 11 o'clock Pacific time, two o'clock Eastern. So you have to be, um, on the live to actually win. So that gives you really good chances because our lives, like I only get, I don't know, like a hundred people on the live <laughs> at one time. And people usually watch it afterwards, right? So it's a really great opportunity. Okay, so here is the stencil. I'm gonna do it against um, a more dull color so you can see it. See. So it's super cool, right? I don't know what, what I'm gonna do with the stencil, but I've been saving the stencils for some reason. So this stencil, because heat has been added to it, it's not stick, I mean, it's still a little sticky, but not super sticky. So you can, you can kinda hopefully wrap in your head like what's going on. So here it is. I'm gonna move that stencil out. I'm gonna put the Teflon sheet on and I'm just gonna press one more time. And it's a really big design, so I know I'm pressing a little bit longer than, than it says to. That's it. And then you can kind of feel it. It's, um, it's on. There's nothing sticking up. It's a beautiful, beautiful design. I'm so excited. So, all right. I hope that answers all your questions. I love that you guys had a ton of questions. It keeps me on my toes you know, that I'm able to do this overview and really answer your questions. So keep commenting, asking me stuff. Um, I don't know, I love your suggestions as well. Like through this, someone gave me a suggest suggestion on what to do with the excess parts. So we're gonna try to, you know, experiment with that as well. 
All right, I will see you next time. I hope that you use this hack and uh, tag me when you do because I would love to see those crazy intricate projects. All right, talk to you later, bye. <laughs>